first, let's head over to Sarah for our first art talk on fashion designer. Mary Quant became an iconic figure in the 1960s and could easily relate to a lot of topics about women in business just discussed at the APMP event. Over to you, Sarah, to tell us more. Good morning. Thank you. Yes, today we're talking about fashion designer and fashion icon Mary Quant. Dame Barbara Mary Quant was a British fashion designer and fashion icon. She became an instrumental figure in the 1960s London-based mod and youth fashion movements and played a prominent role in London's swinging 60s culture. She was born February 1930 in Blackheath, Southeast London, the daughter of Jack and Mary Quant, who had originally come from mining families in South Wales. They had both won scholarships to their local grammar schools and then gone on to Cardiff before moving to London to become teachers and joining the middle class. Her interest in clothes developed when she was barely out of diapers, and she once recalled embarking on her first collection when she was just six. Quote, I didn't like the clothes I had. I wanted sleeves with a puffier top on them. I wanted this and wanted that, and I was trying to cut up the bedspread and make them. From then on, I never stopped. And this photo also points out her signature white collar that really made her designs pop. A budding designer, Dame Mary, was taken on as an apprentice to a milliner before making her own clothes. And in 1955, she opened Bazaar, a boutique on, the, on King's Road in Chelsea. Quant's designs were riskier than standard styles at the time. Her clothes revolutionized fashion from the utilitarian wartime standard of the late 1940s to the energy of the 1950s and then the 1960s cultural shifts. She stocked her own original items in an array of colors and patterns. Quant's impact didn't just come from her unique designs, but in her boutique, she also created a special environment, including music, drinks, and long hours that appealed to young adults. The environment was really unique for the industry as it really differentiated from department stores and a kind of inaccessible high-class designer store environments that had the hold of the market at the time. The mini skirt, described as one of the defining fashions of the 1960s, is one of the garments most widely associated with Quant. Skirts had been getting shorter since the 1950s and had reached the knee by the early 60s. Quant later said, quote, it was the girls on King's Road during the swinging London scene who invented the mini skirt. I was making easy, youthful, simple clothes in which you could move in, in which you could run and jump, and we would make them the length that the customer wanted. I wore them very short, and the customers would say shorter, shorter. Here's that iconic white collar again, and we can see that she really played and experimented with different patterns and colors, a departure from the status quo of fashion before the 60s. She's also credited with designing the ribbed sweater, and here we can see an amalgamation of her design style with the mini dress made from a canvas or burlap type texture layered with the black ribbed sweater. In 1966, she received an OBE or Officer of the Order of the British Empire for her contributions to fashion. She was one of the first designers to use PVC as a clothing material that would give her clothes a shiny or kind of plastic feel. And here we can see her debut of the waterproof boot using that material in 1967. Famous 60s supermodel Twiggy became synonymous with Mary Quant's designs. Twiggy says of the designer, quote, by the time that I was discovered in 1966, Mary Quant had already left her mark on the fashion world. Before her designs, there were no real clothes for teenagers. If you look at girls in the 50s, most of them dressed like their mothers. She changed all of that. And the image on the left here is an ad for Mary Quant's revolutionary tearproof or waterproof mascara, which was the first of its kind. Here's a British postage stamp with her on it featuring the iconic mini skirt. And there's some debate as to whether or not she really was the first designer to debut the mini skirt, but she's definitely credited with naming it. Her favorite car was the Mini Cooper. And so that's what inspired her to call it the mini skirt or the mini dress. 
The Victoria and Albert Museum recently did a retrospective of her collections in 2019 and 2020. And here's an image of some models wearing um, some of her designs outside of the museum. Here are some more of her designs on display at the retrospective. Again, we can really see a playfulness with color, texture, fabric, and of course, length. Mary Quant passed away in April of this year at age 93. When asked if she was surprised at her success, she said, I mostly felt, my God, what a marvelous life you had. You are very fortunate. I think to myself, you lucky woman, how did you have all this fun? Thanks everyone, and I'll see you next week.